I think uh, I went around the world maybe three times this year. It's tough, you know, with, with your schedule. You know, I'm on the move all the time. I'm playing a lot of golf tournaments. When you come home, it's like coming back on holiday. You know, absolute on holiday. It's the public persona of, of me, you know, the Big Easy. This is how the, the man upstairs uh, put me together. So, you know, people see me as the Big Easy and I'm, I'm happy with that. But inside there's, there's a very, uh, there's a big burning desire to, to compete and, and to do well. I've never really felt that I'm really playing against my competitors, I've always felt that I've got to try and beat the golf course. I've got to, you know, conquer my own fears. And when I can do that, I've got enough talent, I'm blessed with enough talent, and when I do that, I'm going to do pretty well. In all the victories that I had, something positive just kind of grabs you and pulls you and says, okay, this is the way it's going to, you know, whether you're playing for your family, Trying to put a smile on your dad's face, you know, making your kids proud, uh, making South Africa feel great about themselves, you know. There were always instances that, that kind of grabbed my attention and it kind of took my focus away from making this five footer and trying to read this five footer the way it should be read and putting the, the right speed on it and, and all these technical thoughts kind of go out the window and you just start floating on a cloud and then some, something just pulls you in the right direction and just grabs you. And that's the game of golf.